Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Silverado D generation here from year 2014 to year 2019. If you have a problem where you hear a noise uh, clicking behind the dash when you change the climate control settings, the temperature uh, on your Chevy Silverado, we'll explain what can cause that. It may not be expensive fix, guys. We'll talk about that, how to diagnose it, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way, do not waste money and time. But well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. Before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us, guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do, how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, engine lights, uh, fuses, all that stuff, guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep providing these videos absolutely free. Now, guys, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so please check check them out and they can save you quite a bit quite a bit of money now or in the future so if you got if you guys get a uh, noise behind the dash when you change the climate control settings the temperature on your Chevy silver I will explain what can cause that now guys yeah uh, now uh, first what we we'll recommend Always guys, check your climate control fuses as well. There are multiple fuse boxes hidden all over this track that most people don't know about that. We we'll recommend to check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on Chevy Silverado. Now, you will have multiple fuse boxes all over the track on the side of the dash here. Uh, you're going to have one on the side of the dash right there as well and uh, you also guys will have some under the hood and some other ones too but before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below now guys quick thing if you need to buy fuses relays parts tools at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time guys we're going to put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out that way you do not waste money and time if you guys okay please make sure you stay tuned and we want to share one good advice with you that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us now if you want to see where the climate control fuses are we have the complete video on the channel but nine out of ten times guys okay uh, will not be a fuse it will be actually that device right here now if you have dual climate control guys okay where you can adjust the temperature on the left and the right side okay you're going to have two of these for the temperature and uh, you're going to have okay uh, one that regulates where the air comes from the dash the windshield the, the uh, foreboard and all that stuff but what is that thing guys that's known as a blend door actuator it consists of plastic gears and a motor inside usually these gears and a motor <coughs> will wear out they'll start skipping they will crack or the motor will burn but usually you have a cracked gear or worn gear when you hear that noise what it does it attaches to a flap and that flap regulates the temperature from hot to cold so when they start going out you hear clicking behind the dash quite often guys if you want to know what are the symptoms of bed blend or actuator and how to fix it okay we have videos on our youtube channels that will teach you how to do that now guys you have all kind of different fuses and relays in that Chevy Silverado you have different fuses relays that could be really hard to find especially if you're in the middle of nowhere and uh, one time we needed a replacement one we couldn't get one we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that so what we do now we always get some spare fuses relays keep them in the glove box for a peace of mind guys that way you do not get stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you guys for watching and see you next time.